¿Qué tal amigos de Zona Deportiva? Estamos aquí con la leyenda del MMA, Tito Ortiz, antes de su pelea de despedida ante Chel Sonnen en el Bellator 170. Tito, well, thank you for uh, let us uh, do this interview. 20 years, you calling out. You know, um, it's been 20 years uh, since 1997 when I started my career. Um, I've done many great things, you know, winning world titles, uh, defending my world title five consecutive times. Having, uh, I think I'm tied right now for the most UFC fights in UFC history. Um, and now after fighting Bellator for three years, um, it's time to hang them up. I've had too many surgeries. You know, I've uh, had ACL surgery on my left knee, ACL surgery on my right knee, 50% meniscus taken on my right knee, um, L4, 5, S1 fuse in my lower back, C6, C7 fused, C5, C4 disc replacement, C4, C3 fused, and a reattached retina, um, along with probably about 25 concussions. So it's time, it's time to hang them up. You know, I'm, I'm still able to compete, but at the same time, I just, I wanna see my kids you know, grow up to be great men, and I won't be a part of the family without uh, being in training camp. You know, three months out of, three months, three times a year is, is tough to do, so now it's time to hang it up. After 20 years, though, so 20 años is, is a long time. <laughs> Fans be asking, like, I mean, this is your farewell fight. Why pick an opening as someone like, I mean, Chel Sonnen is not an easy uh, fight. So why you pick someone in this level at this point of your career? So that's the thing. I didn't pick him. He picked me. He called me out. He said he called me a coward. Uh, he said he wanted to fight me. Now, there's some history between me and him. Uh, we, we wrestled against each other in college. He went to uh, Oregon University. I wrestled at Cal State Bakersfield. Uh, we wrestled on my birthday 18 years ago. Um, this fight is two days before my birthday, 18 years later. Uh, I have my redemption. I've always wanted payback. And he called me out and he forgot all about the match. And I have had that match deep down in my head going, I want an opportunity to get it back. And here's my opportunity to get it back. So definitely it's not just like a, another fight or a farewell. You're just trying to redeem yourself to that defeat against him. You know, uh, everything has for a reason. I get the opportunity to redeem myself. Uh, I got an opportunity to beat a guy who's beat me once and let alone it's my last fight uh, on my career. So uh, many fighters on this, uh, this 20 years, like calling you the reason that they start MMA. Obviously you've been calling the Huntington Beach bad boys, the people's champ. How do you want to be remembered for the fans? I mean, the bad Tirortis, the good fighter. What's that you want to stay in their memories? You know, I think it's just an inspiration um, to show in what a kid that was on the streets uh, who can achieve in his life. I I've came from nothing and I've achieved so much. I'm very, very lucky um, as an inspiration. You know, someone who's fought for other fighters uh, to get paid more money, um, a, a fighter who's given so much for his kids to not have a worries, to living on the streets or be around gangs, um, to being able to make it out of the streets alive, being able to make a business out of my name. Um, and I, I'm very lucky. I just want to be as an inspiration. You know, I want to inspire people that have either come back from war and have surgeries and I, I sit on the couch and they feel like they can't do nothing with themselves, to be able to do those things to um, push through it and have the mentality in their minds to go, you know what, I can get through it. I can do these, get through these things. And I should have quit a long time ago. But, you know, the money's great. I can't complain. And my fights are always exciting. The fans still don't complain. And a lot of people are saying that they're bummed about me uh, retiring. But at the same time, I give my life and soul to this. No many fighters uh, ended their career as the main event uh, of a, a car. So you're the main event for Bellator 170. Is this it? feel for you like extra pressure for that? Um, there's, there's no extra pressure. Um, this is just another fight to me. This is actually is a, been a fueled fight for me because I have an opportunity to redeem myself against Chael Sonnen. He's been talking a lot of things. Uh, just today, actually, I was listening to an interview and he got a little personal. He talked about my ex. Uh, he talked about, you know, my car. He talked about uh, how I um, took advantage of some people. And um, that's talking personal about my personal life. And it's fuel. Um, me being the main event, I expect no less. I've been the main event for many, many, many fights um, since the beginning of my career. And um, I don't even want to say I'm, I feel sorry for Chell because he's going to take an ass whooping. I, I, I want to go in and I want to destroy him. I want to put him through what he's never been put through before. And I've been putting for the last uh, 12 weeks the hardest camp I've, I've had in a long time. And I've been able to do a lot of great things through this camp. And like I say, I have uh, two more weeks to finish and uh, it's fight time. Bien amigos, estas fueron las palabras de la leyenda Tito Ortiz, previo a su pelea de Bellator 170.
a llevarse a cabo este enero 21 en el Fórum de Inglewood. Reportando, Daniel Olea para Zona Deportiva.